He was a judge on Australia's Got Talent for three seasons, but he's best known as the man from Snowy River. Here today is old Blue Eyes himself from Sinatra at the Sands. We are so pleased to welcome Tom Burlington. Thank you so much Hi for being Jason. here, Tom. Hi, Mel. Thank Hi. you. Uh, now, before we tell us about the show, let's have a look at you in action, shall we? Okay. I have got you under my skin. I have got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart. That is incredible. Really, good, eh? really incredible. I have to ask you first up, though. So that's you being you, not being Sinatra. Well, it's, but there's, a, Sinatra. there's a fine line here, Mel. I don't pretend to be Sinatra. I do wear the dinner suit, as you saw. It kind of goes with the territory. But it's still me singing the songs. I try to be very faithful to his distinctive musical expression, that, that distinctive phrasing that Sinatra had. So, But I don't pretend to be him. You but know? but it's, when you sing, you lift, and there's something about you. And well, you're, that just sort of comes you're out. You're channeling him. You really are. <laughs> I kind of, yeah, that's a, a lot of people have said that, channel, channeling him, yeah. And I must say it's such a pleasure to have you here because you were my first crush I think. Oh, I'm trying to work it back from Man from Snowy River. Do you remember oh, well. that? that yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. I was this yeah. high it and was 35 years you, ago when we made you that movie. were my man. You were <laughs> okay. my first crush. <laughs> right. You really were. Cool. Sorry, yeah. sorry just putting about that out there right now. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Thank you. Sure. But now that's still that's still Australia's highest grossing movie of all time, is that right? No. Uh, it was for a while right. until a little movie called Crocodile Dundee came along. That's not a real <laughs> knife. Don't but worry about it. Was, like, uh, it was unheard of at the time that an Australian movie could be number one box office, and Man from Snowy River did achieve that. Wow, congratulations on that, too. No. Wow. But now let's talk about other things that were on screen because I understand that when um, Frank Sinatra's daughter Tina was making a miniseries about her dad, mm. you got in touch with her. That's right. And, and so, and then, you know, somehow you ended up with a part in the miniseries. Well, I'd written a song about Sinatra and I performed it live on Australian television. And when we heard about this proposed production, I sent a videotape of me singing the song uh, to her because I wanted to be considered to play the part. Now, I knew that was a bit of a long shot. Who knows, yeah. though? But as it turned out, she needed someone to sing the voice of her father as a young man. And in the days before, he had a recording contract and then to recreate some of the early hits. Anyway, she asked me to fly to Los Angeles and sing for her, so I did that, and that very same day, she offered me this most amazing job wow. of singing the voice of Sinatra as a young man. So for about the first hour of this five-hour miniseries, when the character, who's, when the actor who's playing Sinatra sings, it's my voice it's that he's lip-syncing to. So when was this? Oh. What, what time 1991 it was 1991. Made. So it went on to win the Golden Globe Award for Best Miniseries of the Year. Did you want to be acting in it as well, though? Because you're obviously I did, but Anderson, look, I, so I don't appear. It's just my voice in the show. <laughs> but when it became known back in Australia that the man from Snowy River could sing and sing like Sinatra, it led to a whole new development in my career. It must have been quite good because you have been based in Australia pretty much your whole life, haven't mm, you? Mm. Which well, is since nice. I was 10. Well, well, yeah. well it's nice yeah. because quite frequently you have to, in your career, chosen career, you have to jet set off all over the place and stay overseas to make any decent money or any sort of decent career. But you, because you've diversified, have been able to stay in Australia. Yeah, that's right. I did do some overseas work and um, but yeah, I decided to to live and and have, you know have a, my family and everything in, in Australia. And I'm very fortunate to have been able to work in show business for as long as I have, which is 40 years this year. So, um, but I have had 40 to years. yeah 40 years oh, since, I, since I graduated from NIDA. So, you know, uh, but I have had to diversify. I've worked in movies, worked on television, worked on stage, and now you know I sing for my supper. Do people <laughs> when they see you though? Do they still go? That's the man from Snowy River singing Sinatra. Well, yeah, it's, it's the man from Snowy River is still very much loved in Australia. It's, you know, children and grandchildren have been put in front of that movie who weren't thought of when we made it. But there's, it's still very much loved. And, and so, yes, people come along to my concerts and they bring their man from Snowy River DVDs and they want me to sign <laughs> them, you know. And they say, like you, Mel, they say, I've loved you since I was a kid, which is a, it's <laughs> great. Go, this is awkward. Well, it, no, no, it's great to have a piece of work like that that is really so dear to people's hearts. Mm. But now you were kind of as one of the most brilliant Sinatra acts in the world. So what sort of feedback do you get from fans when they see that? Oh, well, I go out after my show and, and I sign autographs for people and have photographs taken with people if they want. And invariably, the sort of reaction, Jason, is I closed my eyes and Frank Sinatra was still alive. Yeah. Which I take as a great compliment. Oh, that's huge. Um, I love it. I've loved it all my life. So, I'm, so I really enjoy sharing that love for the music and, and the, the, the accomplishments of the man with the audience. And of course, well, you know, I've got 
uh, uh, people, uh, uh, you know, who've, who've enjoyed Sinatra's music all their lives. I'm taking them on a trip through their memories. So it's a, it, it's a, well, I often get a very positive, lovely response. And of yeah. course, it's great standing up in front of a big band <laughs> yeah. and singing all these wonderful songs. Well, you do it been, very, very well. You do it incredibly well. It's been wonderful having you here Thank as well. You, and wonderful singing for us as well. Tom Berlinson performs Sinatra at the Sands featuring his all-star big band on Saturday, 26 November at Sky City in Auckland. Tickets are available right now.